Gates in position, wings open, wheels are rolling. We'll send it upstairs to track announcer Brock McAchran with the race call. Thanks, Kurt. Maritimer Phillies rolling in from the rail out. Cougar on a tear, Danny Gillis. Tobin's Diva with Dale Spence. Can't stop the love and Dave Dowling. Elm Grove Quest, Todd Trites. Mystical gal, Jason Hughes outside. KC Starlight, Stephen Trites. It's Maritimer, second elimination. Here they come. There they go, off and pacing. Great start. Everybody's firing out of there. In between pacers, Tobin's Diva. From the cones, that's Cougar on a tear. Cougar on a tear on the inside. She's the leader around the first turn. Tobin's Diva on the outside. And Spence, she's looking for the front. She'll maybe now back off to that two hole. Can't stop the love, and she's a well, way well in third. Then Elm Grove Quest fourth. Mystical Gal fifth. KC Starlight, she can see them all. They're in program order on route to the opening quarter. This is the three-year-old daughter of Cougar Hall. This is Cougar on a tear, and Danny Gillis, she's the leader by the opening quarter. 29-1 and one, Cougar on a tear in command of the racetrack. Tobin's Diva is taking the trip in second. Can't stop the love in his third. Elm Grove Quest looking good in fourth. Then Mystical Gal fifth. Casey Starlight, she's last, but she eyes the outside as they come in front of the fans. First time around, Cougar on a tear. Her lead is now out to two, make it three. Coming to the half, Cougar on a tear. Tobin's Diva is trying to keep with her in second. Then can't stop the love in third. Halfway home, fifth. 59 and 2, identical 29 and 1, second quarter splits. Round the turn they go. Cougar on a tear. She looks sharp. Tobin's Diva now tightens in from second. Can't stop the love in third. Casey Starlight working hard on the outside. She's first up, was fourth, now takes over third as they go on down the backside. It's still Cougar on a tear. Tobin's Diva. She's biding her time in the pocket. Casey Starlight's up the third. Can't stop the love and no place to race in fourth. Following on the outside goes Miss. Sorry, that is Elm Grove Quest as they roll by three quarters. 129 and two. It's still Cougar on a tear. Tobin's Diva awaits racing room top of the stretch. Cougar, Cougar on a tear sees it through the stretch. Here comes Tobin's Diva out of the pocket. The race is on. It's Cougar on a tear, and Danny Gillis doubles up on the card. Cougar on a tear to the line. Second went to Tobin's Diva. Can't stop the love in third. Looked like Elm Grove Quest might have found her way into the final with fourth. As easy as one, two, three, four at the wire. Cougar on a tear. She stopped the clock two minutes flat. And driver Danny Gillis and trainer Walter Walker hooking up again here this afternoon. Second elimination of the Maritime Stake, three-year-old Philly elimination. And you can see her getting down to the wire. Danny right, put her right back, right on the front end, 29 and 1, 59 and 2, well rated, 129 and 2, right down under the wire, comfortable winner to win the division, the elim second elimination of the Maritimer Stake hit the wire at in two minutes flat. So that's the second of the day for Walker, or will be third training win. Second for Danny Gillis as a driver. See if he can complete the hat trick today in the 13th. Congratulations to the winner, Cougar on a tear. We will see them back in the winner circle next. In front of the fans comes the winner of the second elimination of the Maritimer. It's the one entry Cougar on a tear. Three-year-old filly by Cougar Hall from the Western Terror Mare, Toxic Terror. She's the third winner on the day from the Walter Walker Barn and the second winner driven to victory by Danny Gillis. For Cougar on a tear, this is win number eight of her career. Puts her earnings almost to $40,000. we are going to see her back here in race 13 in the final. She's owned by Walter Walker of Inverness in the estate of Angus McGinnis, Mabu, Nova Scotia. Congratulations to the connections. 
here on Capturing the Second Division of the Maritimer Stake. <laughs>